internet friends, my name is Rich. Thanks so much for joining me today on the uh, Toy Isle Alliance YouTube channel. Want to do a quick Darfs haul video on something that I hauled recently. It is the Mayfax Darth Vader. Um, this is Mayfax's first Darth Vader. It's based on his appearance in Return of the Jedi. There is a new Mayfax Darth Vader out, but it is uh, based on uh, the Revenge of the Sith Darth Vader. So not Hayden Christensen. Uh, Darth Vader at the end of Revenge of the Sith. However, I am looking at the Return of the Jedi Vader. The reason I got this guy is I wanted a really, really nice uh, Return of the Jedi Darth Vader to go up against my SH Figure Arch Jedi Luke. Um, there have been a couple of, uh, of six inch scale Darth Vaders. Uh, there was a Figure Arch Vader, which ordinarily would have been the one I would have chosen, but it's way too short. Um, Revel Tech did a six inch scale Darth Vader, but the Revel Tech joints did not look quite right um, on that figure. Uh, and of course, uh, the Black Series did a six inch scale Darth Vader. However, um, there were a lot of issues. I like his height, I like his bulk. But if you look at the soft goods, especially on his uh, skirt piece, don't look very good. Um, I don't like the way this is sort of sewed into the shoulders. Um, the, 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 biggest, uh, the biggest problem with the Black Series was the helmet. I've heard this described as the uh, Sad Seal Darth Vader. I've heard it described as a Danny Trejo Darth Vader. Um, the reason the helmet looks so funny is they had it designed where it could be removable, which is really cool. Um, however... Uh, really, you want your Darth Vader to look perfect with his helmet on, and they just didn't quite quite nail it. So that's why I have wanted to pick up uh, pick up this Vader. It is a, it is a nice Vader, very very poseable. Um, comes with several extra hands, so he can do force choking. He can do uh, have his hands at his hips and a fist. Uh, most importantly, he can hold his lightsaber. There is a wire in his cape so that you can pose it. However, I never have very much luck trying to pose capes that have the wire in it. And also on this side, the wire actually stuck out a little bit, so I had to shove the wire back in. And now it doesn't. The, the wire doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the cape like it's supposed to. But like I said, I don't usually use that feature, so he's basically going to stand like this for the rest of his life. Um, like I said, he does come with several extra, uh, extra hands, and he also comes with an unmasked uh, Darth Vader head, or I should say, an unmasked Anakin head. There is the unmasked Anakin head. It's not bad. Um, we'll compare that to the Black Series Anakin head. If I can get a good. Uh, there. Uh, I'd say both of the, neither one of these are much better than the other. I think I prefer the Mayfax one, um, but the Hasbro one's not bad either. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, of course, have him displayed like this so he can do battle with my Jedi Luke. Because my favorite scene in all of Star Wars is the final duel between Luke and Vader. So I'm going to have the, uh, the Mayfax Vader going up against the Figure Arts Luke. So and finally, just want to do a quick uh, shot of all my 6-inch scales Darth Vader. Here is uh, Hasbro's first attempt um, with his mask off. This is the Walgreens exclusive Emperor's Wrath Vader, where he has a translucent uh, helmet to uh, sort of mimic the effects of getting hit with the Emperor's Force Lightning. That's a much better uh, head sculpt than what they did on the first attempt. However, it's... Uh, it's translucent purple, so a lot of people just paint that black and call it a day. Here's, of course, the Mayfax one that we're talking about today. And what I now consider to be the best 6-inch scale Darth Vader, originally I did say it was a Mayfax, um, the 40th anniversary Vader is now my favorite. I think this is an excellent, excellent Darth Vader and the best 6-inch scale Darth Vader. However, it's based on his appearance in A New Hope. And, of course, I needed a really good Return of the Jedi Darth Vader, so that's why I picked him up. Uh, okay, guys, that's it. Uh, my Darth Hall video on the Mayfex Darth Vader. All right, guys, until next time, I will see ya.